Hi, my name is Karita Gould. For all of my life, I've enjoyed interacting and working with animals. Bonds formed by empathy have always fascinated me. This is what I decided to pursue when I chose my senior project. At the time that we started researching community service organizations, I had little to no idea of what I was going to do. I just began researching some of the groups that were listed when Walkin' in Circles Ranch popped up. Walkin' in Circles Ranch is a ranch that takes in abused, neglected, or unwanted horses. After researching it a bit, I had a large hunch that this was a good place for my project. So, after conducting interviews and seeing the different places I had researched, I chose to act upon my hunch and become a volunteer at Walkin' in Circles Ranch. I decided on two goals. My first goal was to bond with a horse before December, then teach it new skills or training before May. My second goal was to work with the fundraising team to create a plan to acquire funds and collect $500 by the 1st of May. However, there were a few challenges with this decision. My senior project was not immediately available to me in Albuquerque. The ranch was located all the way near Edgewood, which is about an hour of driving. Because of this, I couldn't simply go there for a few hours every Tuesday and Thursday like my peers. The way I chose to deal with this was to visit the ranch every Saturday by driving my family's white car to the ranch. This was a big responsibility, as I was not a very experienced driver. Another challenge that was presented was that I was only 17 years old. According to ranch policies, all minors must be accompanied by an adult ranch hand at all times. This is perfectly understandable, as many of the horses we were working with had undergone great emotional abuse, and an adult horse usually weighs about a thousand pounds. Caution was necessary. However, I would not be turning 18 until next July, after my senior project was complete. That meant that in order to work at the ranch, I needed someone to work with. Sherry Livingston was my mentor, and I cannot thank her enough for the amount of time and consideration she has put into helping me meet my own goals. Unfortunately, she was very busy for the first half of my senior year and could not always be at the ranch, although we still kept in contact. To overcome this challenge, I would ask fellow ranch hands if I could help them with whatever they were doing, and if they could help me with my own goals once I had helped them. This taught me great collaboration and communication skills. During my senior year, I attended two classes at UNM, English 101 and Microbes, Friends or Foes. These classes taught me important things about independence, self-accountability, and the invisible life around us, despite the fact that their connections to my senior project were somewhat tenuous. So this is the barn, and we keep several uh, special kinds of horses here. Horses in special situations usually, but sometimes horses that just stay here. And this is a favorite stop of many tourists, the babies, Cinnamon and Max. Hi. Hey. Oh, she's busy. Eating. This is Cinnamon. Hi, and Cinnamon. that's Max over there. They're brother and sister. And Are they twins? Um, I think that might be the case. Come here, you. How are you? Oh. They're very cuddly and susceptible to squidgies, as you can see. Hello. 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 How are you? And they're very, very cute. Though they're more adolescent now. While I worked at the ranch, I bonded with a particular horse, a mare named Star. It's difficult to describe what drew me to her. She has a certain uniqueness that is hard to place. However, she is herd-bound, which means that she rarely gets out of her paddock, and doesn't like to leave her paddock mates. I sought to help her with this, but first I had to build my own confidence, and develop a strong bond of trust with her. Although I can't say that I completely understand her, or ever will, I think that our relationship has evolved greatly since I have first met her. My first goal was fairly soundly completed. The second goal, on the other hand, was not. I had planned to work on the second goal during my second semester, but the time and schedule constraints that my mentor and I had prevented us from truly buckling down on the goal. As a result, I never actually completed it, much to my chagrin. Overall, I have learned many important things in this place. 
I've learned how to communicate with animals and other human beings, how to take the initiative when I need to collaborate, and how to be independent and responsible, especially when it comes to my own transportation. This place has given me some incredibly useful tools, and I'm very glad that I chose this place for my senior project. I would do it again if I could, and I plan on continuing to work at Walkin' in Circles Ranch for quite a while.